Hello YouTube. I wanted to show how you can or what you can buy in under a hundred dollars. I did our grocery shopping today for the week and um, I spent under a hundred dollars. First I got these tortillas and then we got some canned foods down here. These are a little more expensive but um, my husband really loved the chili I made out of it, so we got those. And some diced tomatoes, we got four cans of those. And then three cans of the pinto beans in back. Uh, and then we also got one bag, I already had this other bag, but this two pound bag of brown rice. I got these seasonings. And these two seasonings. Oh, I guess I could show you guys it instead of the wall. And I made sure to look on the ingredients, and make sure that they have all natural ingredients. If I couldn't pronounce it, I didn't buy it. And it actually took me like an extra 45 minutes just looking for seasoning that didn't have like crap in it. And then we got, we already had the lentils, but we got two pound bag of beans, two bag, or black beans, two pound bag of pinto beans, and then two of these garbanzo beans. There's one in the back there you could see. And then I got these rice for my baby, rice and oatmeal. There's four boxes of those. And what else? We got all those potatoes. And then for winter, I decided to get some frozen veggies and because the fruits and vegetables are going up now since the winter and everything's like starting to cost more. So being more cost efficient, I know it's not the healthier option or it's not the healthiest. Um, fresh is always better, but the frozen ones are still healthier than like processed foods. So. I got some peas, um, a vegetable blend with carrots and peas and squash, and then another vegetable blend that has different stuff in it. And then I got these. Um, I got these for organic because they have the corn in it, and as a lot of you know, corn is about 90% genetically modified in America and soybeans are also 96% genetically modified. So whenever I get something that has corn or soybeans, I always make sure it's organic because I don't want GMOs in my, in my food. So I got all that and then we got this uh, cilantro, that's organic. These little baby things, all of that is organic stuff. And then lemons, sweet peppers, we already had these oats and the coconut milk. And, or coconut water, sorry. And then I got two of these. They were on sale at the Fresh Market. Um, it's only two bucks for those, watermelon. And then we got cucumbers, we already had the peppers. I got two bags of grapes. We had those oranges got these strawberries and blackberries, that bag of clementines back there, and then we got celery, purple cabbage, broccoli, two stalks of broccoli, this big bag of romaine lettuce, and then this big bag back here of spinach and baby kale, bok choy, and then avocados in that one avocados and oh yeah all of my bananas the apples we already had those were actually free from a tree that's close by our house where we walk and I got all the bananas it's about 10 pounds of bananas and this is a pretty big bowl you can see um, for under a hundred dollars and I have the receipt right here so you guys can even see let me show you 99.22 and that's today's date so you can see i bought groceries for the week on under a hundred dollars and not even just for the week for probably 
longer than that. Yeah, sorry, the video cut out, but I was saying more, more than just a week with all the beans and rice. So, yeah, that is how you can do grocery shopping for a high-carb, low-fat vegan diet in under $100 for